So this is my newest wine glass, water glass, whatever I want to drink. Hello to all my butterflies out there and welcome if you are new. Well, I have a small video for you today. I want to bring in some of the new items. Bring in. Where am I bringing it into? I want to show you some of the new items I've gotten in so that you can um, see what I've got during the all the sales that's been going on. Um, the Black Friday, all the other sales. I did not get much. I am so proud of myself. I actually did not go overboard, which usually I don't do because for some reason, doing sales, and I just wanna know, is it, is it just me? Sometimes doing sales, I don't find anything that I want, or sometimes to me, it seems like it's a little pricey anyway. I don't know, but something about that. But I did get a few items. So. First, let me tell you about this glass. Can you see it? I hope you can see it good. I went to a outdoor flea market and a lady made these glasses. I love the way she dripped the CCs. So this is my newest wine glass, water glass, whatever I want to drink. And this straw. Okay, I got these straws from Amazon and they change colors. It's just cute stuff that you get. It's just like, why am I getting this? I just have to be on Amazon getting something. Do you do that? You just like, why am I up here getting this? But the straws change colors and then, you know, nobody wants to, it's reusable straw. It's just nice. Um, That's just the random things I got. So let me do Sephora. Sephora. The older you get, the, you just put your words in kind of where you want to. Anyway, um, I only got two things. That's it. Two things. First is I got the um, the On Till Dawn Matte Waterproof Setting Spray um, from one size fits all um and so you know this is patrick stars um line and i got this and this is how it looks i didn't get a big bottle so i just got the little bottle to try it now it comes off like almost like an aerosol um, so I sneeze a lot when I use it. So I don't think I'll be able to use this because there's something about it. I mean, it does what it needs to do. That is for sure. Don't get me wrong on that one. I'm going to try to find one of his brand that is a setting spray that's not the matte. Um, so it won't be so, um, so it won't mess with, I guess it messes with my sinuses so I can't use it. But I'm going to continue to sneeze my way out of this bottle. I'll sneeze until it's gone. Trust and believe. So I got that. And I got the replica set. So I'm quite sure it is a few people who probably got this. So I got the replica set. I made fun of it on my stories. So if you follow me on Instagram, which I will put here, um you will see in my story that I made a little fun of it. Because when you first spray it, so let me tell you about it. So the first one, in case you didn't get it, the first one is Fireplace. So this one is Fireplace. And Fireplace has that smoky smell. So I, you know, I just joked about it smelling like something burning. But um, I had so many compliments on this perfume. So many. When it dries down, now when you first put it on, it does smell smoky. And I don't mind that. I really don't. 
and when it dries down, it smells so good. I got a lot of compliments, so I would definitely recommend this one. Then the next one is Bubble Bath, and this one everybody raved about. This one smells like pickles to me when I first spray it on. It does not last as long, and it is beautiful when it dies down. That initial smell, pickles all day long. Get me a get me a sandwich. Put me some pickles on it all day. Um, but when it dries down, it is a very good scent. Um, I just recommend the fireplace one. I just like that one better. This one, you got to be really up on someone to smell it. No, I didn't get any compliments for this one. But that fireplace all day long, I got compliments. Those were the only two things I got from this Sephora VIP sale. It was nothing else I wanted. I didn't want to overdo. I don't. I'm not having makeup just sit in a in, on my, you know in my makeup stand. I'm not doing that. No. When you see people with all that makeup and all that, well, most of the time that stuff is given to them. I'm buying it, right? So there's no one sending me makeup. So therefore, I do not have it just sitting on my desk. Not gonna happen. All right, so let's talk about Bath & Body Works. So Bath & Body Works, I did get some few things. So let me tell you my newest stuff that I got from Bath & Body Works. The first thing is Snowflakes in Cashmere. I got it in the body wash. And I got it in the body cream. So I got Snowflakes in Cashmere. This right here I'm going to layer with perfume because it it just it had that cashmere is in a few of my perfume scents good match to them so that's why i got the snowflakes and cashmere let me see what i think about how it i just put a little of the body gel on my hand it has a grown woman scent do you understand me like I'm grown. I'm not doing no. I, I'm, I'm not here to uh, smell like sugar and candy and all that. I'm, I'm grown. That's this right here. Yes. The next one I got is the newest one. Um, and it, of course, you know they always come out during the holidays with a new scent. So this one is the cotton candy champagne. Now, this one right here. Yes. I will put this on when I want to go to bed smelling good um, because this is the body the body gel so um, the shower gel body gel shower gel and it smells really good it's sweet it's it's just what bad, bath and body works is all about so this is a good one and I got this for when I'm in the shower and I just want to go to bed smelling good. I got a body scrub as well, and I got the winter peach marshmallow. And this, let me put this on, let me see. Oh yeah, oh yes. You smell the peaches. If you love peaches, you need to get this uh, winter peach and marshmallow. Get this, it smells just like peaches. So you got your options and I keep them all in the shower. You Do you do this? I wonder if anybody else do this. When I get in the shower, because I have all my shower gels, scrubs, you know, any one of the shower, it, whether it's the ones I get from Walmart, my um, all of the lay ones, or all of them is in my shower. So I don't know what I feel like until I get in there. Cause I love a long, nice, hot shower. And then I feel like, okay, where am I going? What am I doing? And that's how I decide on what shower gel to use. I also got uh, a body lotion and I wanted to try the Golden Clementine in Amber. That's what this looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. And the reason why I got this is because also in some of my perfumes, I have amber so amber is another ingredient so i would layer this with that and then i got this 
raspberry and tangerine candle. Now, I did not get this from the Bath and Body Works. The other, because you know they had buy three, get three, buy three. Um, I gave to my granddaughter. She, I got picked her out a body mist because I don't really wear those. So, I gave her one of those. But this was given to me as a gift. I had to put it up here because A, it was given to me during the Thanksgiving holiday. This candle smells so good. I haven't even lit it yet. You see, it hasn't been lit. It's sitting on my desk next to my computer and I can smell, it's just, I don't even want to burn it to make it go away. And you know, they're having Bath and Body Works on December the 4th, because I'm you're gonna see this way after, but they had the uh three wick candles on sale. So I'm gonna get a few of those and I'll show that on the next go round. So that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. Um so what else did I get during this sales? Oh, this is another off uh off topic one. You know how you need a safety pin? And sometimes you don't need a little safety pin. You want something to maybe, uh, you need the pin. You're trying to find a way to hide it because we used to hide in the safety pin. We did it, we have to hide it. We got to keep on making sure that you can't see it. Well, I decided to buy some safety pins that not only are useful, but that I don't have to hide, it actually adds to whatever I'm doing. Like I give you for example, I have a pair of uh, wide leg slacks that I broke. You know how the it comes together on a little metal hook. It's not a button closure, it's a little metal hook. Well, they're vintage pants, so that little metal hook starting, it just, it didn't broke off. So I was thinking, oh man, I gotta go to the cleaners. I gotta go, you know, to the alteration place because our cleaners is an alteration place and get that fixed. But then I said, you know what? I was scrolling Amazon as usual and I came across a pack of large bobby pins, um, bobby pins, safety pins. I swear to you, I'm not drinking right now. I'm, just, I'm not. Look at these safety pins. And I put it right on the pants and it just looks so gorgeous. So I got this. Then I have one that looks like a pearl. But that's a safety pin. And this one has pearls on it as well. And look at this one. It has a beautiful flower. And this is my favorite. So I just pinned it up with that. And I'm not getting it fixed because I love the way it looks. So, yeah, Amazon. Big, just put large safety pins. And you can see, you know, how it looks. Okay, so another off topic that is not something I bought, but it's still a part of this haul is um, I didn't get into, and you know we get obsessed. I didn't get into... Um, <clears throat> brooch, brooches, brooch. I'm obsessed with brooch, with brooches. Why do that sound like brooches? I'm into brooch. I, I got a brooch, several of them. <laughs> so I have my CC brooch, and then I have these. So <clears throat> look at this beautiful one with the. I got this from a consignment shop with the pearls and diamond and then this one was given to me when I bought as a gift when I um, when I bought uh, something from uh, one of the live sales I'll be joining look it's a little elephant and then this one was a gift as well and it is like a little uh, bow and then this one I purchased myself. It's like a little lipstick. I am obsessed with them now. So you're gonna start seeing them on little shirt collars. Um, I really like it on jean jackets. So 
or like uh, if you got blazers or something that's a solid color, looks so good. So you will be seeing that. So uh, the next thing that I've got that's off topic as well is if you have natural hair, um, and you know I have natural hair, but my my pattern is not, it, it's a curl pattern in a straight, I don't know what it's called. My natural hair is crazy. It's weird. It's curly at the, at the, um, it's straight at the root and then it's curly at the end. Weird. That's why I'm never going to have that long, flowing, beautiful, uh, it just, it don't grow long. It just, it is what it is. But I found this new stuff called Eco Natural Cocktail and it's a super fruit curl complex. So it's for curly hair and it looks like this when you open it. It's from Eco and look, it's got this consistency and I've been using it. It's just gonna last me forever. I got this much hair, this much. So um, I just put it on while it's a little damp and it makes curls so yeah and i don't have curly curly hair it's just at the ends all right so last but not least is i went to dillard's and i want to show you everything i got so first these i've already worn look at these beautiful look at this chain earring dangling chain and then right at the tip it has the you know the crystals going through it these are so pretty and they look really nice on I got a lot of compliments on that and speaking of earrings I finally am wearing my Chanel see my little vintage Chanel hoop earring I hope you can see it and then I just paired it with a larger hoop. So I'm hoping you can see that. But I'm so glad to be able to wear them. Okay, so what else did I get from Dillard? I'm just gonna pull something out. They had a wonderful sale and I just picked up a few things. So first of all, <clears throat> I picked up from Ann and Ava. You see, there it is. Ann and Ava. So if you want to go on their web on Dilla's website or Ann and Ava if they have a website, I got these very cute uh hoop earrings. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if they can go in my top here. I forgot what it's called, honey. Either way, or in my second hole because I like little hoops and it's got little little cute little hearts I think that's hearts hanging as well so I got those I saved the two braces for last make sure I got it. okay and then I got these from Natasha. So they go to name. Look at these beautiful hoop earrings. I just like the fact it looks like leaves. It look like a, a, a you see it, it looked like a leaf to me. And I think it's gonna look so cute. So the name of the brand is Natasha, and they have a lot, I have a lot of their earrings from Dillard's and they always going on sale. You never have to really, unless you want it. You know me, if I want it, I wouldn't wait for the sale, but <clears throat> they have such good sales. Next, I got, look at this bracelet. Look how beautiful this bracelet is. It is gorgeous. Let me see if I can put it on. You know what I love about it? The fact that it winds around your arm, your wrist. So let me see, because I ain't even never tried. 
I don't forever buy something. I ain't tried it on or not. I can like, oh, it'll fit. And it does. Look at that. Beautiful. And I think you can make it so that if you wanted to, spread it out, I guess. Yep. Yeah. But look how beautiful it is. It is so gorgeous. I love it. And the last and final item. Oh, no, it's not the last and final. But the last item I got from Dillard's. Let me go ahead and take this bracelet off so that I can show you the next bracelet. Oh, this one looks so pretty. I can't wait to wear it. I got this one. Look at this beauty. Okay. I hope I ain't break nothing. Oh no. Look at this beauty. I just love the charms that's on it. And the colors. I like the, the blue leather that's going through it. And I hope you can see all the little, all the beautiful charms that's on it. This is gorgeous. Let me see if I can see who it's by. Oh, I don't know who it's by. Oh, it's a Betsy Johnson. It's a Betsy Johnson, which I should have known. Look at that. And I got it nowhere near the price that it usually is. Because, you know, her stuff is not cheap. Because it's so odd. I really want you to be able to see how beautiful it is. So those are the bracelets. So you see, I didn't get a lot, but mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I did not get this through the sale. This is a luxury secondhand purchase. And you know, I get all my luxury secondhand items from Vestiaire because I love bidding on it. And oh, I haven't worn them. I've taken them out of the packaging because I don't have no room for boxes and all that. But, guys, <laughs> I know this probably not a cup, everybody's cup of tea, but I got this cow print cowboy boot from Dolce and Gabbana. Let's look at it. First of all, look at the details. You see all the detail, the brown in that beautiful, the brown and white, and it is gorgeous, that gorgeous brown. And if you saw my video last week, the last video I put up, I have that vintage men's leather jacket uh, that I thrifted. <laughs> Yes. Look at this rich brown and this stitch, the gold stitching going up. And look at the design on the actual boot. Look at that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I love it. And the heel is not that high, but you will see me style this. And of course, I will probably show you on one of my next videos. But I look at the details. Even the gold it trim is around the um, uh, the it, the the top of the boot, and um, <clears throat> the cow tail, the cow. Uh, you know, like cowboy boots. They always got. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's what the. Street. The cut of the boot and, you know, the details make it a cowboy boot. Um, and I don't think you can see anywhere where it says, I didn't care about it showing, but right here, you see, I hope you can see it. It has the Dolce & Cabana label and you can tell it hasn't been worn a lot. And I just, oh! I just love it. And you don't, you can't tell that it's Dolce & Gabbana anywhere else. Mm. Tell me what you think of that boot. Ooh. I just want to know, because no matter what, I love it. 
That's all that matters. So you didn't go in on that. You ain't put no money in on that. Okay, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me. And please like, subscribe. Leave me a comment. I want to know you out there. And also, I think you can share it, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as you come see me. Bye, guys.